All right, so what we're going to do here is we want to find, uh, we want to multiply the radicals. The first thing you want to do when you multiply radicals is we want to get the prime factorization of everything. So we take a look at this first one. This is already broken up into the prime factorization, but we can break 15 up. Um, we know 15 we can write as 5 and 3. So this is now going to be, what do we got here? We've got, um, we're going to have square root of 5 times square root of 5 times 3, right? And now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this all under the same radical. And take a look. Do you see I have, how many 5s am I going to have when I put these all under the same radical? There are going to be two of them, right? So when I write these under the same radical, it's going to give me 5 squared times 3. And now we can simplify this. You see a 5 comes out, and we're going to have a 3 left over. So when we bring this 5 out, remember you divide the exponent by the index, which is 2 here, and we get 5 square root of 3. So multiplying is very, sim or very similar to simplifying. You just end up breaking them up, putting them together, and then simplifying. So let's take a look at this one down here. You can see we have 5y and 10y. 5 I can't break up, but 10, we know 10 is 5 and 2. So the first radical, I'm going to have 5y. The second one, I'm going to have 5 times 2 times y. And I'll take a look. When we put our 5s together and we write them under one radical, this is going to become 5 squared. You can see we have a y here and a y here. When we write those together, again, we're going to have a y squared. And what did we forget about? You see we got this 2 over here, so we also have times 2. And now what comes out of the radical? Anything that has an exponent divisible by 2 because it's a square root. So we can bring a 5 to the first power and a y to the first power. So we're going to have a 5y out front, and then underneath the square root, we're going to have 2.